Good afternoon, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. Today is July 14th, 2022. And I want to share this piece of information with you that was sent to me through a friend. And it shows here that President Biden has signed to affirm a two-state solution for the land of Israel. As it says in Joel 3.2, I will enter into judgment with them on behalf of my people and my heritage Israel because they have divided up my land. And part of the declaration here is on this uh, screenshot, and I will also take you to the, uh, the website where you can see the full Jerusalem declaration that was signed today, July 14th, in Israel by President Biden and PM Yair Lapid. The United States and Israel commit to continuing to discuss the challenges and opportunities in Israeli-Palestinian relations. The countries condemn the deplorable series of terrorist attacks against Israeli citizens in recent months and affirm the need to confront radical forces such as Hamas seeking to inflame tension and instigate violence and terrorism. President Biden reaffirms his long-standing and consistent support of a two-state solution and for advancing toward a reality in which Israelis and Palestinians alike can enjoy equal measures of security, freedom, and prosperity. The United States stands ready to work with Israel the Palestinian Authority, and regional stakeholders toward that goal. The leaders also affirm their shared commitment to initiatives that strengthen the Palestinian economy and improve the quality of life of Palestinians. I will leave the link for you to this article here that is the full text, Joint U.S.-Israel-Jerusalem Declaration, signed by Biden and Lapid. If you want to read this entire declaration... And down here, I will show you the paragraph that we just read together. So you can see that this is coming straight from this document here. The United States and Israel commit to continuing to discuss the challenges and opportunities in Israeli-Palestinian relations. Okay, so here is this information with what I just read to you. Support of a two-state solution. And you can see that this is signed at Jerusalem on the 14th day of July, 2022, which corresponds to the 15th day of Tammuz, 5782 in the Hebrew calendar, in duplicate in the English language. Yair Lapid, Prime Minister of the State of Israel. Joseph R. Biden, Jr., President of the United States of America. Okay, remember, we're watching July 13th through July 17th. And July 17th corresponds to the 17th day of Tammuz. Okay, July, between July 16th and July 17th is the 17th day of Tammuz. It's the beginning of the three weeks of mourning leading to Tisha B'Av, the 9th of Av, when the, when the temples were destroyed. And it's also the beginning of the siege of Jerusalem. In both occasions when the temples were destroyed on the 9th of Av, the siege of Jerusalem began on the 17th day of Tammuz. And that's why there is a fast that is declared and there's three weeks of mourning. There are no weddings that take place in Israel because of this. And so this is remains a high watch time between now and July 16th and July 17th. And so many things are happening. And now today we have a declaration of a two-state solution which is what they are seeking to promote okay the division of jerusalem so i'll leave the links for you in the description box i pray you guys are blessed have a wonderful day this is steve fletcher with a trumpet for my people the sign of his coming revealed you wrote a letter and you signed your name I read every word of it page by page You said that you'd be coming, coming for me soon Oh my God, I'll be ready for you I wanna run on greener pastures I wanna dance on higher hills I wanna drink from sweeter waters in the misty morning chill And my soul is getting restless For the place where I belong I can't wait to join the angels And sing my heaven song